tak harus cuba main anjir di Sierra Lopez kita buat Travis Lee Duke. Ya cuma cerita aja buat nyok tahun lalu mesti care tahu di kampus. Shaf good cook aja cuci kerana tahun lalu cuci dah ke Wiras. Kami kiki kiki koi di dah ke Fias Nara Travis. Cedro, you're rolling today. Skoog Tosh. Good day, everyone. My name is Travis Duke. As always, I'm joined by Cedro Lopez. We are coming to you from the Tanatham Nursing Care Authority campus in Shavko Cook in the Guachi District on the great Tanatham Nation. And Back what day you. is it? Today is Friday. <laughs> it is uh, Viernes, right? Yeah. Yeah, Friday, we Friday. Are. Oh, well, you know, depends. <laughs> Friday, Friday, Friday. This is payday for a lot of people, so enjoy. Make sure you take care of your local vendor, and if you owe a debt, make sure you pay it. Hey, the hell am I smoking the mark? I hear how much it is. We are lost yet. Not be my talk, Coxian. But the hook here, how much it is. Chut, a stone. Be our shay mug over here, shah soy, but for you, shah tosh. I'm just shah with it, mut kahamut kahamut. Uh, but I was like, Tash, before you make her, I'm the atomic chip, must the Hummock toy woke, uh, Boshe Heek show up, Bashkia, Bashari Mug over the earth, from the Domer, the Wafer and Tag Am Chip. So, tell us. Oh, 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 I forgot. Gumuha, Baich, Mataboywa, Kaluna's chip, must be our Matmoa, him at the Woke or Wustomam or Stonecut. Yeah. Okay. What, what's going on with the weather is it seems like the Crazer Zandy left the oven on and forgot to turn on the AC because on Friday, today, it's going to be 96 degrees still and it's October 18th, mm -hmm. right? Is that, as no. long as we don't hit 100. Hey, yeah. Well, we might. There's a chance on Saturday because it's going to be 99. Uh, the wind on Friday keeping it down 10 miles an hour and then it's going to be sunny and windy again almost at, at 9 miles an hour out of the southwest. And then on Sunday, ooh, cooling trend on Sunday, 97 degrees and it'll be partly cloudy so that's why we're getting that cooling trend and the wind's going to be kicked up a little bit to 10 miles an hour. But did I hear? Did a little birdie say 70s the next week? Oh, wow. We're gonna, it's, it's gonna really feel like football season. Well, not even really. It's still, <laughs> it's gonna be still hot. So for all of you that are pad wearers and playing football here in Arizona, good luck. We got high school football playoffs coming up. I don't know, is Bobo making it in? Do we know? I don't know. We don't know, I but don't stay know. cool and stay hydrated, everyone, because the weather's still gonna be nice and warm and toasty. But it's under those pads, it's gonna be nice. It's going to be hot. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's going to be nice. Don't worry about it. Hey, I rolled the more for the day. Travis, not sure. Coop! Uh-huh. And what does that mean? Close your mouth. <laughs> it oh, means close. Oh, not to, it just close? Yeah, just when close. you yell at me, coop! It, it, it just means close cool. the door, not my mouth. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Well, you close anything with coop. Oh, okay. So yeah. you did mean to close my mouth. So, coop. Close the other one? Coop. Oh. Coopio. Yes. Coopio. There which we go. Means? Open. Which yes. I, I have no problem doing. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good, good. So coop and coopio. 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 Coop and coopio. Yeah. Open, close. Yes. So that's the word. Uh, how much to it? It's dash uh, How much is the mushroom? Let me say it that way. That way, the good of the mushroom, which is the big dance man. Um, Francis Stout, which we celebrated on Wednesday. I took a Masik Tashraj to go board member here, come on to walk. I did a Gokka Wussama, you're going to go to Francisco Ferrer. Did I say it right? Ferrer. Ferrer, yeah. yeah. Ferrer. Property yeah. and supply here. Doggo Hyaki Muki. I'm just a Gokka Waiki Kuiti Damasha. Logan Jennings, uh, CNA. Lacombe? Lacombe. 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 The E silent. Like oh. the I. Yeah. Uh-huh. Lacombe, Louisiana. That is. That All is. Right. Awesome. Whew. I'm just uh Mata uh Kokko Quint uh Elvira Villa Gomez. Uh transportation escort. Come on, I'm just uh are you tam? Go up tam. Uh, and then mata Kokko Woki Quint uh Ursula Mandri, uh Yamjit Akchin Tono. Uh, Perfect. Thank you, Isidro. So, Francis's Stout's birthday party we had here on Wednesday, but her birthday is really on the 19th, and she's one of our board members, and she's from Santa Vera. Uh, actually, the birthday was on Tuesday. The 19th? It's the 19th, Tuesday. What's today? Today's the 21st. Is it Wednesday? Or 20th? Oh, no. That was Saturday. Yeah. It was Saturday. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, my God. 
I know it's okay. The days are all sorts of messed up, but really, just look at your own watch. That's all there is yeah. to it. Don't trust us here. We're gonna mess up your dates for you. But on the 20th was Francisco Friere, our property and supply. He's from Pasqua Yaki Tribe. And then we also have on the 23rd, Mr. Logan Jennings, a certified nursing assistant from Le Combe, Louisiana. Right, you gotta add that in. <laughs> little, the little, little, Tabasco little sauce. Cajun. Oh yeah, 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 the red dot. Forget the Tabasco, awesome. go for the red you dot. You guys are awesome. Red Tabasco dot, saw. right, okay. Then on the 26th, we have Elvira Villa, Gom Villa Gomez, Villa Gomez, uh, transportation escort from Bouval. Manager's Dam and Gouval. Oh, Manager's yeah. Dam, one of my totally favorite forgot. places. One of my favorite places. <laughs> Great rec center down there. Check it out if you ever get a chance. And on the 27th, we have Ursula Mandre, a cook, and she's from Akchin on the Thanatham Nation. Just a little bit. Why are you stop? Like? Just right there. Yeah, just right there. The ACL here, much of much of much more about the high tide chicken videos on my. San Francisco Francis Francis Thank you, Isidro. So coming up right after this, we're going to have some videos of our St. Francis Day's feast here at the Thanatham Nursing Care Authority. What an incredible day. Thank you for all that attended. And for those that you didn't have attend, please enjoy the video. And then also, also very special video of the 90th birthday celebration for our very own Francis Stout, who had that birthday on Saturday the 19th. Saturday the 19th. <laughs> and we want you to, if you came out and were uh, able to enjoy that birthday party with us, thank you so much. If not, Enjoy the video here. Yep, yeah. boy videos on YouTube tam. share, subscribe, like, and hi chapin man be either YouTube, yes you man boy a cell phone, come a kiki kwai 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 secret kiki kik secret quo quo geek but tak but you have a check message but you tonk a media. Check out my chum get up chicha m to try chum mushrome come moon cut them bumps beyond bomb tata go to do shy to go keep up of the whole boy eat a flu covet RSB monitor high to come much one more to much about say by teacher mom I'm eat a super chick matter the more pimp but just look at the picture matter from monk that do try to keep up for a chill which is the girl appears so good money and that what I will read about on for you shot up on your fossil next week Thank you, Isidro, and thank all of you for watching our videos. Please check out our other videos here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that share button, and the, most definitely that like button. And if you know anyone that hasn't found us out there in YouTube land and you'd like to share this with them, you can just very easily have them text T-O-N-C-A-M-E-D-I-A, -E that's Tonka Media, and you text that to 833-304. Uh, 0774. I almost <laughs> forgot the number. Wow, that's been a long time. So, 1 308 0774. And we will get that anytime we have a new video poster. We do a live stream, there'll be a notification sent to that number. And as always, please, if you haven't yet, please talk to your primary care provider or your other healthcare professional about getting vaccinated against what, what, what? The flu. What, what, what? COVID. And then don't forget. There's also a new RSV vaccine. And if you don't feel well, stay home because you, you and yourself can stop the spread of all that nasty stuff. And you can break the chain of infection by just staying home. So stay home, stop the spread. And if uh, we will see you here next week and have a great weekend. Come here. I'm going to have Travis LaDuke, who is our communications and operations um, director, and he will come up and say welcome. Travis. Uh, my name is Travis Saduke. I'm the Director of Operations and Communications for the Nursing Care Authority. I want to uh, welcome everyone here today in celebration of Francis Stout's 90th birthday. Hey. 
And, and I just want to make, give some brief remarks. Cedro wanted me to start off by reminding uh, most of us will not make it to 90, so just remember that. So, I appreciate it. so this might be the 190th birthday party you get to attend as well, so enjoy it, right? Okay. And, and I just want to quickly say that uh, Frances, uh, not only for the professional guidance and vision that she's given me, but also just um, the, the personal attention that she's given me and advice. She's been not only a professional mentor to myself, but also a personal mentor in what it means to be a leader and a visionary. So I just want to say thank you, Francis, for that. I want to say happy birthday. I'll welcome everyone else here again. And now I'm going to stop talking and we're gonna move on to our second agenda item. And, and I passed out my agenda as well. So we're on to... <laughs> I got the mic though, that's what matters, okay. So um, you're up, Isidro. Oh, see how easy that was? Isidro Lopez, our director, our community liaison. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so uh, we're gonna do a little PowerPoint. So if you can't see it, or you're maybe sitting at an angle and you can't see it, uh, the greatest IT man over here is going to loop it. So it'll just loop, and you can see it later if you can't see it right now. Okay, so thank you. Uh, and if you want to turn around, you can. Um, but I will start off with... Uh, I will start off with family. Yeah, Frances was born October 19th, which was last Saturday, so she's 90 <laughs> and above. Um, so Frances was born October 19th in 1934. Uh, in Ganado, in Ganado Mission on the Navajo Nation. Uh, she spent her early years uh, as a child on the Navajo Nation and what happened was that her grandfather, uh, David, left uh, Topawa um, and moved to Navajo. Built a house and said would come back and pick up his wife and his child. So, um, this is uh, uh, this is his um, uh, his sis the sisters. Annie Hubbard is uh, Francis's grandmother, uh, who's on the left side of you. Um, and they moved, and so the family moved to Navajo Nation uh, near um, Ganado. Uh, while um, Francis's father, uh, Arthur Hubbard. Uh, who was born into power at the time when they moved? It was the uh, the grandfather, Grand Francis' grandfather, grandmother, and the child, uh, Francis' father, Arthur Hubbard. Um, was born into power, but moved when they did the move. He finished high school uh, or he finished school on the Navajo Nation, um, and he. Uh, came to work at, he came to work at the Sanavir Clinic, if you all remember the Sanavir Clinic. Worked there and met uh, Francis's mother, uh, Celestine, while they worked at the Sanavir Clinic. Um, uh, unfortunately, her, her mother um, passed away when Francis was just three years old. Um, her mother, Celestine, uh, was Tama Ota, um, at the time, Papago. Um, and her father, Arthur, was Donna Autumn and Navajo. And this is her father holding Francis as a baby. So, uh, and Francis grew up on the Navajo Nation. She grew up there and uh, she went to grade school and high school there, graduated at Granado, Granado and upon graduation, um, she went to Dallas, Texas. Um, to attend nursing school, which took about three years to finish. Uh, she went to school to be a nurse. So um, her grandmother always told her um, that when she's finished, to one day come back and serve her people. And when she finished school in Dallas, Texas, um, she came back to, um, to Ganado and worked for one year at the hospital um, in Ganado, or in Cayenne, in Canada, Ganado. And um, then she moved to Cleveland, Ohio, 
uh, to go to school for public health nursing. Um, she was there for a year uh, in public health nursing or to get her public health nursing uh, schooling done. And then uh, Francis came back to Fort Defiance. Uh, this is her visiting her school in Dallas, Texas. I'm assuming that they've already all graduated. Um, <laughs> but this is her visiting. She went to the Methodist school up there in Dallas, Texas. Um, and then Francis uh, was in Ganado. She uh, was there for a while and then went back to um, uh, Cleveland and, and was there for a, a year. And then she came back to Ganado, or Fort Defiance, was Ganado and Fort Defiance where she met her, her husband Larry in Cayenta and married there. Um, they moved to Blackstaff, um, where she was a nurse for off-reservation kids in a dormitory. And then um, moved to, uh, she was there for five years. Uh, from there, she moved to Las Cruces, New Mexico, uh, while Larry was working on his PhD at the university. Uh, Francis worked in the university's infirmary. Uh, when Larry finished, they moved to Nevada for a year. Uh, and then Francis came back this way towards Phoenix. She was employed at the old hospital in Sacaton. Uh, she worked in the ambulatory uh, unit for six years before she moved to Sells. And she heard that in Sells they had the electronic health record, and that's what interests her. Plus, Sells needed an ambulatory health supervisor, uh, and she was, she was in her 40s at that time. She changed her tribal affiliation from Navajo to Tonga Autumn. Uh, when she uh, when she came back to the Thon Autumn Nation. So while in cells, the IHS director uh, from the headquarters in Santa Vera came down to inform her that she would be the acting director of nursing. And the rest is, well, what we all know of her. Um, Frances was here at the Santa Rosa Clinic for five years, and she says that her best years uh, was at Santa Rosa and I remember her back back then, uh, this little kid then. <laughs> uh, so, and and she 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 was still working there. Uh, obviously, when the nursing home started or the project started many years ago, um, she sat on the. There was a, a steering committee, there was a nursing home committee, there was an advisory committee uh, to get this nursing home done. It was a big deal for the Thon the Nation. And as I've always mentioned that when they first started this the nursing home, um, they didn't have money for it. It was just a vision. And once uh, the money started coming in in 1993, um, she was involved in uh, the nursing home board and on the steering committee and on the advisory board and for IHS or on behalf of IHS because they needed people to help start building the nursing home. Uh, especially when the money started coming in from gaining revenue. Um, she was part of that uh, nursing home advisory committee. Um, she was also part of hiring the business person from Dallas, Texas to do the survey. Uh, and then the revenue monitor really started coming in. Um, this is a picture of the, the nursing home uh, advisory committee award that she had done for, for being in that committee, to, which she still uh, has. And from there, um, she also, uh, once the nursing home was built and the whole board and, and committee kind of went away, they needed a seven member, or at the time, uh, there was one from every district, and then it started dwindling down. Then it, politics came in and started saying, well, we need a committee or a board that's going to oversee this nursing home when it gets built. And so the council created a seven-member board. And she was one of those people on that board who, uh, when it first, well, when it started, as it, as it started going. Um, you know, we had Madeline Sikestiwa, who just recently passed away. 
Um, we had uh, Melinda Folson, <coughs> Lisa from uh, Santa Rosa. Uh, we had Richard Ramirez uh, from San Javier and uh, San Miguel and San Lucia. Well, he was here in San Javier, and then Priscilla Domingo, who also passed away, and uh, I think Janice Felix is the only one that, well, uh, with Francis, is the only one that are still alive uh, today. And uh, Janice is on the um, on the Palm Autumn Legislative Council currently. But I don't know who the other member was, because it's a seven-member board. I think that was a vacancy. So if you know of anybody, we still have vacancies. Um, <laughs> but that's kind of Francis is where she's at now. Um, she's one of those, as Travis has said, as other people will say today, uh, she was one of those that um, her vision of thinking the future, thinking of the future and how the future is going to look, as a visionary was probably one thing that, that really kept her going and making sure that the nursing home is done, that the nursing home is run right, and that we get surveys and that they need to be done right. And yes, sometimes she can get a little feisty when things are not done. The way that, that she sees it, but that's okay, because that is what we need um, in order to keep ourselves on our toes and making sure that the nursing home is run right. Her biggest thing is family, she wants to ensure that the elders that live here on this campus have the best uh, life that they have as they are growing older. So I want to personally say thank you to uh, Francis um, from the very start of the building of this nursing home, but prior to that, well, for, for working for IHS at the time, or the Fall Mountain Nation Healthcare for the nation, and for fulfilling the promise of her grandmother, who said, yeah, go, and this is what a lot of them say, yeah, go to school, go finish, but come back and serve your people. And that's what she has done. So most happy birthday, Francis. Uh, we all love you, and thank you, and keep going strong. Thank you. I will give some time to uh, the Santa Maria District to come up and say a few words. inviting um, administration from the Santa Verde District and it's a real pleasure to be here to celebrate Frances's birthday and uh, but it also sounds like her lifetime achievement award is today so <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she has been very um, very uh, let's see helpful to the Santa Verde District in the past um, her and her father used to be on our Santa Maria Alati Association Board, and they've, done, they've contributed so much to um, you know the land and the landowners there in Santa Maria. Um, I also served with her um, on the um, Santa Maria District Council Health Committee, so that's where I learned a lot um, from Frances, um, like her vision and putting together policies and procedures for for our uh, committee that we can follow through with. And um, I think that's when um, uh, we really got into uh, maybe having the public health come around more and just assuring that we get our reports from the, the public health nursing and making sure they're out in the community. So um, she had a big part to do in that too. And so uh, um, I'm here also, I'm sorry, introduce myself, Sally Celestine Pablo, uh, the Vice Chairperson for the Santa Maria District, and uh, Chairman Austin Nunez uh, sends his regrets. He's at a workshop today, so he sent me uh, in his place. And so I just want to wish uh, Francis a happy birthday. I'd also like to um, acknowledge her uh, with a gift at this time, if that's a okay. So this is from the Senator uh, Community Administration and District Staff. 
And I know winter's coming yes. up. Yes. <laughs> and I could have just run down the road and give it to you at your yes. home. <laughs> so she lives very close very to close. the district now. And my favorite colors. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. Good morning, everyone. My name is Donna Hobbs, and I am the um, Chief Nurse Executive for Thon Autumn Nation Healthcare, formerly Cell Service Unit when, uh, when Francis was there. I can't think of the other two that worked in the ER, uh, um, Alfred Juan, who still has an ambulance service, and they were there were only three um, EMTs that were working at the time and having to cover the entire reservation. So Francis was, the, I was an ER nurse then. Francis comes up to me and she had a toolbox in her hand and she said, Donna, if there's an accident out there, you are going with a student driver. And I looked at her and I said, Francis, what do you want me to do? Sit on the van and go, roo, 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 roo. But you know, she was there for us and she always supported us and she looked out for the best of the people we served. And um, as I said to her, urge to be her, and I, I wish at 90 years old I looked like her and I'm not here. <laughs> so from TONHC and from myself, we wish you the best, happiest birthday, and many more. God bless you. Richard used to say, you know how you are. <laughs> I know what that means now. <laughs> there are many things that I've learned from Frances, and there's one lesson that stands out. She's always stressed, you're never too old to stop learning. With all the technology and resources available, there's no excuse. This empowering statement has helped me academically, personally, and professionally. So thank you, Francis. <coughs> oh. This is a gift from the board. Happy birthday. Next, I'd like to uh, uh, acknowledge the, or uh, at least have the executive leadership team uh, come up and, and say a few words. Ross? Welcome, everybody. It's Rusetic. My name is Ross Wilkoff. I am the uh, administrator for Archie Hendricks. I am the youngest, newest person to be speaking in this group uh, at Francis's birthday. And I've only had the privilege of knowing Francis for the past 15 months or so. But as I told everybody at our stand-up meeting this morning, uh, Francis is the reason why I came here. I didn't really know much about Archie Hendricks. I didn't know anything about the Tom Hoffman Nation. Um, but I did my research, and I found Francis online, and I watched her speeches, and I saw her passion, and I realized that you know God had given me an opportunity here. You know, to work with somebody who really is a visionary, as everyone has said. So uh, I'm very glad to be here. So it's a true honor to stand here before you today. We celebrate the incredible life and legacy of Francis Stout, who's turning 90 years old. Francis, your journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. It's a privilege for all of us to have witnessed your tireless dedication to our elders, our community, and the future of health care. Francis has always been guided by a deep sense of purpose and belief and service, values instilled by her grandmother, who told her that we are here to serve. This sense of service is evident in her 33 years as a nurse with Indian Health Services. But Francis did stop there in her 70s, when many would consider slowing down, Francis chose to take on an even greater role, becoming a founding board member of the Town Off and Nursing Care Authority. Under her leadership, Tonka has established Archie Hendricks Steel Nursing Facility and the Elder Assisted Living Facility, which both are world class. Her vision for healthcare is one of innovation, needs compassion, where our elders are cared for with dignity and a place they can call home. Francis, your wisdom, strength, and dedication have shaped the lives of so many. Your, your work ensures that our elders remain connected to their families 
cultures and traditions in those valuable years. He's given us a legacy of care that will endure for generations. And for that, we're totally grateful. On behalf of the entire community, the LT, countless lives you touch, and wish you the happiest night of your day. We celebrate not just with your remarkable woman, but your also inspiring future and continue to help us to build. Thank you, everyone, again, for being here. Francis, thank you so much again for sharing your special day with us. Um, we've got a, a line of gifts that will keep going uh, for you. But uh, just thank you. And, and the, the, this is an incredible way to, to celebrate you and your 90th birthday and everything and all the lives you've touched here on the Tanahata Nation and here at the Nursing Care Authority. So for that, we thank you and happy birthday, Francis. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm the quiet one of the bunch. <laughs> Francis knows that. I just want to say, Francis, happy birthday, and um, just on a personal note, just um, want to thank you for your guidance, and your patience, your leadership, your mentorship to me. I know I don't probably always show it out, but I hear you, I listen to you, I watch you, and. You're a great example to me, and that's how I've um, worked my way to help the assisted living get to where it's at today. And with that, I always carry on with me. And we'd like to we'd like to give you this on behalf of the executive leadership. We, we sing happy birthday to, to, to our residents here uh, for their birthdays and uh, always it's always great to sing happy birthday. I have all my choir here with me who sings very, very loud. So if you, everybody can uh, uh, stand up and we'll, we'll sing you can and we'll sing the happy birthday song. So. Thank you, Deloria. Come on over. I know you sing the loudest. <laughs> So go ahead and sing the happy birthday song for Francis. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Francis. Happy birthday to you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord, may the dear Lord, may the dear Lord bless you. Yay. Thank you, and we have some time to say a few words. Good late uh, morning, everyone. And uh, my name is Daniel Preston. I'm the chair of the Health and Human Service Committee. Uh, the oversight to the Don Alton Nation uh, care, uh, Nursing Care Authority. And um, I think Sally, uh, uh, Vice Chair Pablo, uh, stole my thunder because uh, I did serve uh, with the Health Committee at the Senator District and I first learned of Frances, I think, around 2010. And uh, she sat on that board and, uh, and I know she was an ex officio and she provided a, a lot of uh, leadership there as well. The uh, Tonka Board and the Tonka facility is echoed across nationally. And I think she's one of the reasons why, because of that strong leadership uh, at the national level for all Indian communities. And uh, so again, uh, I think, um, and then she's very astute, you know, so Frances is astute. She's not only stout, she's 
street. <laughs> and uh, so again, uh, you have to share your secrets. Uh, at some point, uh, you know, you're, you're, you have a beautiful, strong life. Uh, met some of your family, your sisters, the ones that came from Santa Fe, and your other sister, and your nephew, and all your family, your beautiful family. So may you continue on this walk of life uh, in a beautiful way. So thank you. Happy birthday. And the health committee want to present you with a, um, a gift as well. So thank you, Francis. Uh, happy birthday from all the years of service to the nation um, towards our health and well-being. And um, wish you many more years. Happy birthday, uh, Mrs. Stout. Uh, I've, been, uh, I've seen you, but I've never met you personally. But I'm glad to know that, uh, that you're the one that uh, headed up all this, you know, down the nursing, the nursing uh, home and everything. And, um, and I just wish you all the, the good thing, wishes, and God bless you. And uh, we're thinking of you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is uh, Pamela Benavides, and I'm a uh, representative for Pismaw District and also on the Health and Human Services Committee. Um, I also don't know you very well, but I have seen you. I've heard a lot about you through uh, the late Flora Manuel. Yeah, she was my aunt. And um, so she had really good things to say about you. Also, Michael Flood, who used to be my boss in social work and sales. So, uh, I've heard all these good things that people are saying about you, and I'm really glad that um, all the people were blessed to have you in this position. And <clears throat> I saw you walking around, and I'm like, 90, man. <laughs> as beautiful as that at 90 years old, you know, still walking strong, you know, and uh, I just want to say happy birthday and uh, blessings to you. Good morning. My name is Leander Mace, and I'm the representative for the Montpelier District and also sit on the Health and Human Service Committee. Well, Francis, all I can say is, in hearing about you, knowing about you, you're not very notorious, <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to wish you a happy birthday and many more to come. And uh, you, you know, just hearing everything that everyone had to say about you is very inspiring. And you are a credit to you know, the, the people that you represent, your family, and everyone who's come in contact with you. I can imagine that their lives have changed. So, thank you for very much, and again, happy birthday. I would just like to thank everyone for coming to celebrate my mom's birthday. I really appreciate on behalf of my family just a little insight into my fam her family, our family, is just recently, and keep in mind I'm 63, we went out, I went out with my cousin, and all of a sudden my cousin looks at me with a face like, oh gosh, and I said, what? She said, your mom's calling me. There's a thing, I'm 63 and I have a curfew. If you drive me nuts. But recently I realized she cares, and she cares about each and every one of you. In her family, it is displayed in her work, and it makes me proud to know I have a mother like that. <laughs> it is thank you again for coming to celebrate this wondrous day.
Thank you. Do you want to stand up? Yes. And Francis is going to introduce her family too, so I'll, I'll make sure she does. <laughs> It's really, really, really great to look at everyone here. But first, I want to thank Isidro for his work in bringing all of us together. He works very hard. He believes in what he does, and he's here for a reason, and we're glad to have him working for us. Then I want to thank each of you who had a word to say. When I listened to that, um, I think that I do all that. And 90 years goes fast. It just goes fast. So every day you need to be aware of what you're going to do that day. Who you're going to help. Who you're not going to help. <laughs> because, there, because, because there are times you have to say no. I have had two birthdays that I remember. This is going to be one of them. The other was when I was 50 years old and my husband at that time uh, put on this big birthday party for me and when do you know it stormed and we, <laughs> we all had to tear into this tiny um, trailer but that was the time that I really felt you know birthdays are worth having they're good growing up we never had a birthday that was just another day I think some of you can attest to that it was just another day after I got married and had children, I thought, oh, we have to have birthdays. So we've been having birthdays. And as you just met my daughter, and I have a son who's in Pennsylvania. Um, there are two gifts that uh, keep on giving. They're both wonderful people. And I want to introduce my family. I have several sisters. We, we are a large family. And we're very close to me. My sister, Kathleen, is two years uh, younger than I am. And our mother is from, is Celestine from San Beer. The other sisters, uh, Karen, I believe, is the oldest there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Muriel. <laughs> I'm the third from the youngest. <laughs> and then I have a couple of cousins. There. Audrey. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. You're My name's I'm behind yeah. the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I have some some nieces and nephews and Rosie back there is my my aunt, my dear aunt's daughter. <laughs> oh gosh, have I missed any yet? Vernon. 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 Vernon and his sister. <laughs> and then I have a couple of friends here uh, from Navajo. Uh, Rosetta and, and her friend JR. Very nice for them to be here. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I sit there sometimes and I think, I can't believe I've been on this earth 90 years. And what, my, what comes to mind is, what have I done in those years? Because I know my grandmother said, you've got to come back and serve. And hearing today the things that I did, um, I worked hard because I believe in hard work. It always has paid off. And I gave everything that I thought would be best for our people. And I hope each of you to have that feeling. Give what you can. But, and I know the days that come, especially for nurses and those that care for our residents here, it's hard work, physically hard work, mentally hard work. And I really do appreciate, <clears throat> our board really appreciates what you do. So now I don't know what's next, but I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Um, and thank you uh, on my behalf. Thank you, everybody, for coming, uh, for, for being here. Uh, I asked Frances you know, what her favorite kind of cake is. She said chocolate. So we have a chocolate cake somewhere. Uh, I think it's over here that we're, we're also going to have. Uh, and her own cake, she can take that home or spread it out, but whatever. Uh, and then I also asked her what types of foods do you want? I was thinking she was going to name something that we, you know, we were not used to making. But she was simple. She said, you know, chili, beans, <laughs> potato salad, jam it. Yes. So that's what we have. That's what the kitchen is, uh, is, is making. And they're going to bring it over. Uh, they're going to bring it over here. So I encourage you to, st to stay. We, we shall be in here in about 30 minutes, what do I say? 30 minutes. So we have the time to you know, just mingle. And, and uh, if you want to come up and see Francis, please do so. We're going to loop this so that it can just play. Uh, and then we have a band. We have the Fiddler's Band over here. They can start playing when they're ready, and we'll wait for the food. So, OK? And, and, not to, uh, and, and we'll probably go for a little while. Uh, not to, uh, I mean, Francis is Francis, as I said. And I've been trying to hope this day will just be for her. But she decided to have a board meeting. So they're going to meet after this. Uh, oh. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so just uh, so we'll, uh, so please stay, please stay. We're gonna have some uh, chili beans and what have you. As soon as it, as soon as it's ready, right, Travis? As soon as it's ready, we'll have it out. So you know, mingle amongst yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>